I will be comparing an Aquachem basic test kit with the K1000 basic test kit by Taylor and the Aquacheck test strips, residential kind, not the commercial kind. So I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to go and fill these up with water and we'll test these on camera and see how they compare. It's time to dip a test strip in. All right, it's showing uh, free chlorine at about, we're gonna be looking at free chlorine and pH. It's showing free chlorine at about two. No, total chlorine is what we're looking at, sorry. It's showing total chlorine at about two also. And then the pH is really hard to read. I don't know, like seven, it looks like 7.0. It's really hard to read. Let's see if I can get some angle on that. So that's the um, Aquacheck test strips. Here's the Aquachem comparator filled up. And here's the Taylor comparator filled up. You can tell this one's a lot easier to read because of the black lines versus these right here. Let me go in and get out, block, get the shade, get out of the shade. <clears throat> so you can tell these both read about the same. Let me go and zoom out. All right, this is the Aquacom. This is the Taylor. The Taylor is color coded. The instructions are color coded, and it comes with a handy chart on the back. Unlike the Aquacom. And that's my index card, by the way, so I could help read the comparator. This just comes with English and Spanish basic directions. Both of these are the same. They both took five drops of both reagents. The Taylor comes with larger reagents, reagents versus the Aquapim. I got the Aquapim at Walmart for about 7 or $8. I got the Taylor one at tftestkits.net or something like that for about... Ten dollars with three dollars shipping from USPS, so I think this is a better value and it's a lot easier to read. And the caps on this are rubber, and they make a better seal versus this, these which leak a lot. And as for the test strips, the test strips are constantly changing colors and they're very inaccurate. So I found that even though I said earlier it was reading two for the total chlorine, come up to this one, and it. This is, you know, can be a different story. So, see, these are a lot different. I don't know. The coin on this might be about two, but as far as the stabilizer goes, the zero and then the fifty are both basically the same color, and you know that's a big gap there. It's basically, with the stabilizer, it won't tell you until you have too much. Then, and by then, it's too late. So, test strips I would avoid. Use OTO. Because it's the kind with the yellow reagent. DPT kind is a pink and purple reagent similar to pH, but it can bleach out at high chlorine levels. With OTO, once there's high chlorine levels, it just turns a dark yellow and then orange and then brown, depending on the chlorine level. So with OTO, it, it at least tells you there's chlorine in there. You can tell around how much, if it's too high, too low. Versus a DPT kind, which I don't have here today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you may post them in the comments below. I thought I should also mention that the Taylor test kit is a lot thicker. The case is a lot thicker than the Aqua Chem one. It's even as a firm, it's firm at opening versus this one, which just pops open really easily and closes really easily, and it doesn't even close right half the times.